looking at my subscribers and we're almost at 40,000 subscribers on my channel. So I'm very grateful to have you all subscribing and watching and sharing my videos. If you want to help us continue to grow, you need to start sharing our videos on your social media so more people can find our channel and this is how we're going to be able to continue to make videos for you. Um, I posted on my community page on YouTube last night asking whether I should make a video about um, the three basic training commands or a video on how to introduce a new puppy or a new dog into your home with already some existing dogs. Um, you guys voted, I think about 600 of you voted and 70% shows that I should do a video about bringing in a new dog. So that's what I did. And um, we are about to show you guys exactly how to introduce a new dog. This is not how I personally do it, just because of how I have my dogs trained and know my dogs well. Um, but this is how I recommend people at home, especially if I don't know your dog and you may not be 100% sure how your dog is going to be when you bring in a new dog home. This is a safe way, uh, I think probably the best way to keep everybody safe and to kind of break the ice uh, with that first encounter, you know, between the new dogs and um, the current dogs that you have at home. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video, will give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share the video so more people can find out about us. Also one more thing, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of it, but I do travel around the country offering dog training and now that I restarted on YouTube, on YouTube, I will be traveling more again, where I go to different states and I hold training classes and meet and greet with people that have been following me and they just wanna you know, meet um, in person and get some tips and also bring their dogs for training. So actually my next trip is coming up to um, Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota, which is on the 23rd of this month up until the 26th. Um, I will put my email in the description of this video so if you guys are interested in getting together when I am in Minnesota you can just contact me and we'll get you signed up but I do plan on traveling a lot more especially during the fall season um, and I'm very excited because I'll be able to get to meet you guys in person and help you with your dogs and just uh, grow this community on YouTube that is amazing like you guys are really very supportive I feel like I have the best like supporters on YouTube ever and I'm very excited for this and this journey this new journey because honestly I started YouTube you know many years ago but I really wasn't making these types of videos I was just posting random videos there uh, here and there and um, they they blew up you know and now I'm excited because I'm actually like putting more thought into the videos and trying to be more creative with the videos. Uh, I know that's nothing special yet, but at least um, I'm, I'll be able to do it more regularly. And, you know, I had given up on YouTube for a while there, and now we're back full force. I uh, need you guys to really share so that we can get the, the subscribers uh, that we need to keep making videos. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is bring all your current dogs to a different room in the house so that they don't actually see the new dog coming in yet. So they have no idea the dog is coming um, into your home because they're going to be in another room. Come on guys, let's go. Carolina. Then we can go ahead and bring the new dog into the house. Important step is to bring a crate. So a crate kind of like this, uh, where you're going to put the new dog inside um, one of your rooms in the house. So like right now I'm using the living room area to put the crate and before my dogs actually get to see the new dog, we're going to put the new dog in the crate uh, to keep him or her safe. You know, um, it gives them a chance to smell each other and they can't hurt each other in case something goes wrong. Of course, this video is mostly for people who don't know how their dogs may react when you bring a new dog home. So by putting the new dog in a crate, it's giving your dogs, your current dogs a chance to meet them first and kind of get familiar with the smell and break the ice uh, and make them more comfortable just knowing that they're all there um, 
before you actually let them interact with each other outside of the crate. Now we're going to go ahead and bring the new dog into the house. Okay guys, so we have Oscar. <laughs> uh, I have never met him before and you can tell he's like kind of unsure about being here. I'm using one of my friend's dogs to demonstrate um, with a new dog. So I, since I'm not bringing a new dog home myself, I am using my friend's little five month old um, mixed breed puppy to introduce to my new dog, to my dog. Um, so my dogs have never met him before. He has never been in this house before. It's his very first time here right now. You can tell he's a little bit unsure, curious, uh, and of course, wondering what's going on, what we're doing with him. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put him in the crate. Come on, boy. I'm gonna put him in here. And I'll explain why we're doing this in a little bit. So he's gonna go in there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and bring my other dogs out. All right, come on guys. Let's go meet the new addition. So here comes my dog. Um, they haven't even noticed the new pop yet. Come here guys. All right, so now, what we want to do is see how they're really excited about a new dog? We want to clean space. Back, back, hey, Carolina, back up. Hey, back. And we don't want them, back. we don't want them to overwhelm the puppy yet. So what you want to do is bring your dog around calmly, keeping them calm. See, this is good. If they are like really brushing towards the new dog, that's not good. That means you want to step in and push them back a little bit, kind of like you saw me doing. But this is good, they're calm. Um, they, they're curious. The puppies also always watch the, how the puppy is doing, how the new dog is doing. He's okay. He's a little bit unsure, but this is not. He's not petrified. He's not, you know, cowering. He's not trying to to get out of there. He's not none of that. He's not panicking. So this is good. It's normal. Now, if he was out of the crate, there's a much bigger chance that he would have panicked when he saw this dog was coming towards him. And. Now they are already kind of losing interest, you know, you can see the Owen over here is a little bit more curious, uh, but everybody else is just normal, normal amount of interest, you know, when there's a new dog. So we're gonna slowly see how, they, see now this, yeah, see how they all came back again? Back up, go. We wanna claim space. We don't want our current dogs to overwhelm and make the, the new dog feel threatened. So if you see that your dog is showing too much interest, it's okay. If you see your dog showing too much interest, you want to ask them to back up a little bit. Go. Good. Ah, wait. Now the puppy is very comfortable. The new addition is acting like, you know, he doesn't really care. He's just not at this point. He wants to, to come out and explore. Now, when we bring the new dog out of the crate, we want to still keep him on a leash. We want to put him on a leash um, just so that we can have more control over the situation. Now, I know my dogs very well, and this is actually not how I personally bring in a new dog. I don't have to, to do that, follow all these steps. I can actually just go ahead and bring a new dog into the house. But of course, this is if you're unsure about how you, your own dogs at home are going to react to a new addition. So what I like to recommend people to do is actually have a leash on both the new dog and the current dogs that you have. Because with a leash, you'll give a little bit of uh, um, control over the whole situation. You know, it's called controlling the environment. You don't want these dogs to all of a sudden get in a fight or overwhelm each other and make, create a bad experience, you know, that very first bad experience of that, uh, of that first meeting. So, by keeping a leash on them, if something goes wrong, you have a little bit of more control to be able to pull them apart and control the situation. So we're gonna go ahead and only put a leash on him since I don't know him. Um, I know that I can trust my dog. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring him. But see, if my dogs rush towards him, we're gonna ask them all to back up again. Go guys, go, go, Carolina, go. All right, so we want them to give me space as I'm bringing the new addition out of the crate. Wait. And okay, and we're not gonna let the dogs interact unless they're very calm with, with each other. So I have five of my dogs here for demonstration, and only one of them is super 
um, interested. So we're gonna keep working on him to get him to be less interested. We don't want them to overwhelm the new addition. So as I bring the new dog out of the crate, I'm going to be watching for my dog's body language to make sure that they are, they are not going to overwhelm. Um, usually that is gonna be your biggest problem is the current dog. You know, they are going to either be too excitable, they may be uh, aggressive towards other dogs, you know, so you want to, or even territorial. So you wanna just make sure that they get familiar with the new dog and they're comfortable. Everybody's comfortable with each other. Come on, Oscar. Back. Now, this is good. You, want, you do want them to meet. So you don't want to tell them to back off if they're being good. See, this is not overwhelming. This is not... Um, now, see, if, if all your dogs come at once, you back up, guys. You can just ask them to back up. And if your dogs are not trained to know this command, you can do this little touch right here. See how that communicates with the dog. You do a little touch and tell them to go. Over here, go. Carolina, that go. So you send them out. So now I have a open space here, and then I can call my dogs over even and get them to meet the new addition. Come on, guys. Come on, Owen. It's okay. Come on, Carolina. That's a good boy. Yes. Now this is like breaking the ice for them. You know, so that once they get familiar with each other's smells. Um, they won't be overwhelmed with the new, the new dog trying to get to know him. They will already know him. So they'll be way more relaxed having a new dog, you know, playing around the house. If you just bring a new dog and you throw it inside your house, your other dogs are going to feel like they want to get to know this dog right away. They're going to rush towards the new dog and it's going to make the new dog feel threatened for sure which can cause fights, it can also cause your new dog to be petrified of the current dog, which can create a really bad relationship for them in the long run. So you wanna break the ice and, and do it gradually. Now everybody's just kind of doing, minding their own business, we're gonna call them all over here. Come on everybody, Yara, come. Come on, Brianna, come. Good, so now everybody's integrated and we can go ahead and let the new boy completely out. And we're still going to supervise, it's only been a few minutes, so we're going to supervise and make sure that everybody's cool. You're watching the body language, you want some kind of interest between them to show that they are accepted, accepting each other like this, uh, but you don't want too much interest. This is good. So we're gonna go ahead and give everybody um, their supplements. So I use uh, New Vet Plus. Uh, a lot of people ask me what I give my dogs. So every day, my dogs get, and they love it, they get the New Vet Plus and New Joint. So we're also gonna go ahead over here and give the new addition to supplements. He's not familiar with them. 